we have a simulation here. And this is in the event of a 7.8 earthquake on the Richter scale based on Dr. Lucy's widely used 2008 research paper called the shakeout scenario. We'll speed it up by a factor or two. So each second here is actually two seconds in real life. Walk us through what's happening. Okay, so you're seeing on the left, you see what the red line is the San Andreas, and you're watching the rupture move up the fault. It's sort of like tearing there a piece of paper. Those. You don't do it. It doesn't happen all at the same time. It happens... Uh, uh, it ruptures up the fault, just like ripping a piece of paper. So this one we started down uh, in the Salton Sea. We're rupturing up through the uh, Coachella Valley. It's now gotten to San Bernardino. And now, notice 80 seconds into the earthquake before the shaking comes into downtown Los Angeles. On the right, we're seeing what's happening to downtown LA. We're seeing really large ground motions relatively slowly. So a single family home is probably gonna go through this okay. We're far enough away from the fault to not have the sh really jerky motions. But our high rises are potentially at risk. We of falling? Of falling. Within this scenario, we posited five collapsed high rises. It's, we discovered a flaw in the way things were being done during the Northridge earthquake. Steel buildings were getting cracks. Steel's supposed to bend, not break. But the part of the process had created uh, vulnerability. It's not being built that way now, but the older buildings are at risk. 7.8, is that the max we could get? No. Uh, we actually tried very hard to say this isn't over the top. This is the very normal sort of earthquake. The San Andreas had a 7.8 in 1906 up in San Francisco and in 1857 here in Southern California. Could Aftermath be. of a... So we could have no water, no electricity, blocked yeah. roads. Chances are you're not going to die. You're far more likely Why? to be murdered because we do have life safety building codes. If you're in one of these bad older buildings, yes, and the potential for fires going through. But people are afraid of dying in an earthquake. You should really be afraid of being bankrupted by the earthquake. 1,800 dead, but $213 billion in losses was our estimate when we worked it all out for this. 300,000 buildings that lose more than 10% their value. And the good news in California, in like Los Angeles and San Francisco, we know we have earthquakes so often, we're starting to really grapple with the issue. Both cities have enacted major retrofitting uh, provisions to force older buildings to be improved, uh, whereas a, a city that has it less often is going to be hit worse because they haven't gotten ready for it. Watch new episodes of Larry King Now, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, on demand on Aura TV and Hulu.